So iOS 16.2 just ended up actually coming out the other day in its official release. Now, I don't think this is, you know, a you know small update by any means. iOS 16.2 brought a bunch of stuff to the table, and that is something that I was really, really happy about. But now this brings us to iOS 16.3. What could Apple possibly do with iOS 16.3 that they haven't already brought within iOS 16? Well, personally, I think there are a few things that they could actually implement within this specific update. Now, the first thing that I honestly kind of want to throw out here is that within iOS 16.3, what Apple really needs to focus in on is the stability and the you know battery performance in general of iOS 16. In my opinion, from everything that I've kind of witnessed so far and some of the biggest complaints, there are still a ton of issues that a lot of older iPhone users are still having within iOS 16 that are still there on iOS 16.2. So in my opinion, and this is something that Apple's probably going to have to do, you know, is to really focus in on these bug fixes and improvements. That specific portion of the update is probably going to be something that they're really going to expand on. At least in my opinion, that's something they really should focus in on within iOS 16.3. Now, another big thing that they really need to do within iOS 16.3 is to further improve not only the initial activities and the initial like live activities that they brought in with iOS 16, the other feature sets that they've also done, they also need to go through and kind of start thinking about iOS 17. iOS 16.3 is probably going to be one of the you know, first updates or first major updates we're going to be getting within 2023. And typically whenever we get those updates, in my opinion, it does kind of set the ball up to what iOS 17 could probably end up being. This is when they kind of stop bringing in these cool, crazy features. We saw with 16.2, they brought in things like, you know, the turning off the wallpaper and turning off the, uh, you know, whatever notifications within the always on display of our iPhones. They brought a brand new free form application within iOS 16.2 as well. Those are some pretty big changes. So now within iOS 16.3, I don't think Apple's going to be bringing those major changes anymore. If anything, I think Apple's going to start streamlining a lot of those changes and bringing in a lot of updates rather than, you know, specific new improvements and new features. They're going to start fixing. Hopefully they should be fixing the things that's initially wrong with iOS 16 in the first place. So in my opinion, if I could kind of predict the future a little bit, I think Apple's really going to focus in on those specific improvements. I don't think we're going to be seeing any changes with any of that specific, you know, performance side. I think the stability should increase, the battery life should increase as well. But also, I hope Apple can go ahead and start expanding that developer mode option that they kind of went ahead and enabled. I kind of felt like within iOS 16, they were going to give us the ability of installing third-party apps. They have yet to actually give us that ability yet, but I think that could be another thing Apple could end up expanding on within 16.3 as well. So those are just some initial things hopefully Apple ends up bringing within this update. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.